So did everyone watch it? Did they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I watched it. Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. You know, when it started, I was concerned uh, because Kamala started going off on the um, the typical kind of like talking points of like, I'm just, I care about the middle class and I want families to have enough money to buy a house. And I don't believe that it's right that healthcare is like, well, what are you going to do about it? You keep saying, you, everyone keeps saying the same shit. However, she quickly pivoted to a more, she went after Trump pretty much solidly the whole night on his record. And she, I would say, people will say I'm biased, but uh, I am a complete perfect centrist. <laughs> really? And I will say now tonight, I will take a pick a side and say Kamala destroyed Trump, eviscerated his old ass, eviscerated. Boosted. And I don't even think he got one good line off. You can see the coping that's going on on Twitter and in conservative circles. The first thing is that they're posting pictures of Trump AI pictures of Trump with animals, like he's saving the animals they're trying to eat. They're eating the dogs. Um, <laughs> she's a Marxist. Everybody knows she's a Marxist. Here, right. we're, do we have a... There's all over the place these... Uh... And I got involved with the Taliban. <laughs> Let's see here. <laughs> My favorite line of the night, Trump saying that he got involved in the Taliban. Oh yeah, she brought up that uh, <laughs> Trump invited the Taliban to Camp David and I didn't, I thought everybody knew that. Yeah, he did that shit. And I got involved with the Taliban. And he said, no way. And I said, way. Wait. Wait a minute, I'm talking now, if you don't mind, please. So um, the coping that I'm seeing is one, the three verse one thing people are harping on, which again, it wasn't even that bad. They fact checked him a few times in places they literally couldn't ignore. Pets. They, you know, and then the other one is the pets thing they say, uh, which is unbelievable. That was just so fucking weird. That the fact that that's the one they're going with is like pretty <laughs> catastrophic. <laughs> Why would he bring that up, man? He's a fucking <laughs> nut. <laughs> but it's obviously so dumb, weird, and bad. And then everybody's just kind of falling in line and being like, "Well, no, we got this. Is the one he chose for us, so we got to defend." It's like they're dying on the on a hill. Yeah. that he forced them. To uh, charge. He he had the perfect opportunity, and this was his opportunity to go in there, act like a president, and he just totally he's, dropped it because he did the whole shtick. He does the same fucking shtick, man. He's had that opportunity so many times, and frankly, he's just... Look, look at this shit. This is, this is an official tweet from uh, a government account, the GOP Judiciary. The Judiciary Committee. It's Jim Jordan. Basically, protect our ducks mean. and kittens in Ohio. This is their platform, people. This man is in a suit in the water. Why is why is the cat in the water? Why is Trump in his suit in a pond? What Being is happening? The cats. And frankly, the duck is not a floaty, and it looks like he's trying to float on a small duck. This image is ridiculous. <laughs> and this notion that all of a sudden Trump is just this animal-loving, uh, you know, PETA. All these people like. <laughs> Oh my God. Save our cats so and annoying. ducks. Like, this is it. This was the best you've got out of that debate. That was bad. That was bad. And the immediate, the immediate, I don't know if you've seen this, but just immediately pivoting when people <laughs> rightly are like, okay, the mayor of the town and the police chief and like everybody says there are no credible reports of this happening. Immediately pivot into, oh, well, here's a picture of a guy with a goose. He killed a goose. Yeah, and well, Trump's response at the time was like, Oh well, that's convenient for a, for a, like a, a mayor to say about his town. He goes, they're embarrassed. They don't want to admit it. It's like what? Nobody's <laughs> embarrassed. They want their if their pets were being eaten, they'd want to save them. Right. And so now they've been forced in this position where it's like now it's like okay, some some guy killed a goose and like which like I believe is illegal without a license or whatever. But it's like we we've already gone Talk about several a goose steps hunt. away from killing people's dogs and cats. <laughs> it killed a goose. Lots of people kill goose. Like people eat gooses. I mean, we don't track all the animal uh, incidents that happen throughout the country. So certainly I would imagine that a goose, violence against gooses happens. <laughs> um, certainly. Isn't it like a lot of these conservatives, they would say that that's fucking, that's based in trad. You know what I mean? Goose. Like there's somebody hunting for, for their own food, but it's a black person doing it. So it's scary. <laughs> based in trad. So let's get into some clips. 
this is just zingers and zongers. She eviscerated him, and she did it in a way like that she remains classy. You know what I mean? Which is that's the way to do it. Go ahead, Mrs. President. Values I bring to the importance of home ownership, knowing not everybody got handed four hundred million dollars on a silver platter and then filed bankruptcy six times, Ooh. is a value that I bring to. My that is so good. That is so, so good. <laughs> he's such a fucking baby. <laughs> Look how bad he's. My he's like, oh, to shit. say we are going to. And what he should have said is like, listen, filing for bankruptcy is a smart business decision. I only, ch I work within the system, and that's why I, the best man at the job. Silly woman. But uh, he didn't even address it. He just took the L on that. Mm -hmm. Work with the private sector and home builders to increase three million he homes. Doesn't he? He doesn't say that. He says like, actually, I got way less money, and I'm and I've made so much money. I only got a couple million. Yeah, I only got a fraction of four hundred million. He said, which again is just like, just over and over, he's getting baited into saying shit like that, which just like to most people that sounds ridiculous. To like, I only got a couple million. I only inherited a couple million. A fraction of four hundred million was nothing, and and completely immaterial to the debate. It's just like wasted words. Um, so, girl, we see you and we hear you. Increase by three million homes by the end of my first term. My work that is related to having a friend when I was in high school who was sexually assaulted by her stepfather. And my focus... Um, so that was that one. That was a good zinger there. Uh, we got another one. She zinged him up pretty good. This was a straight zonger. Uh, oh, this was very good. Well, Vice President Harris. Well, I think this is so rich, <laughs> coming from someone who has been prosecuted. Hold well, on, let I me think go Trump, back. Thank, Trump, thank you. I'll let you respond, Vice President Harris. Well, I think this is so rich. Trump, thank you. I'll let you respond, Vice President Harris. Well, I think this is so rich, coming from someone who has been prosecuted yeah. for <laughs> national security crimes, economic crimes, election interference, has been found liable. <laughs> For sexual assault. That and part's true, my friend. Mm -hmm. You're not. You can't. You can't appeal that one. I think you've already paid out. His and next big court appearance is in November <laughs> at his own criminal sentencing. And let's be clear: where each person stands on the issue of what is important about respect for the rule of law <clears throat> and respect for law enforcement, the former vice president called for defunding federal law enforcement. Forty-five. Thousand agents, get this, true. on the day after he was arraigned on 34 felony counts. That's true. So let's talk about what is important in this race. It is important that we. Yeah, another big one is like how he called off the border bill. Um, it's like such a fat L, you know. One thing I also find interesting, it's minor, but um, she always looks in the camera. She's like mm. speaking directly to the country. To oh, the, the whole at home. body language of Trump. Bizarre. Yeah, like, he, the he, entire time he was—he's like, old and tired. Yeah, yeah, his like eyes are like kind of squinted closed. Like he just looks like shit. I, I don't know. I thought his eyes did look beautiful and twinkly that night. I have to be honest. <laughs> oh, you were—you were—you were taken by his eyes. They had a sparkle yeah. to him. Oh, <laughs> uh, let me. So I'm. I'm. But yeah, it just—it's uh, you know. We've fallen in. We we already moved on because news moves so fast, but. I just keep coming back to how fucking great it is that Biden dropped out. Like, do you remember what that last one felt like? It, and just seeing Biden just stumble his way fucking through against against that guy, the same guy. Well, yeah, like, Trump was like, this is fucking, I got it made in the shade. And <laughs> I was, I'll admit that I was one of the people that was like, there's no way we're going to find like a viable alternative uh, that can beat Trump. But uh, I think we're all pleasantly surprised. Kamala is for, is a formidable. You stepped up for sure, dude. Yeah. Biden put on a Trump hat yesterday. Did you guys see that? No. <laughs> Did you fucking see the clip of him <laughs> oh, no. saying, "Tomorrow I'm doing 9/11"? He said, "Tomorrow I'm doing 9/11," and, and Trump said, uh, "I linked up with the Taliban, or what was it? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> I got involved with the Taliban." And Here I got is uh, with the Taliban. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Video exchange uh, with Trump supporters in Pennsylvania shows President <laughs> joking. He can't remember his own name. Oh, this guy called him an old fart to his face, too. He doesn't give a fuck. He's done. <laughs> he's checked out, bro. <laughs> he's gotten, he's, dude, he's probably got such a load off his shoulders. Mm. He's just done. 
he's done. He's on the beach. This man is on vacation. <laughs> in a, in a mega mega and you know what? After a lifetime of service, he damn deserves it. This yeah, man's right been, off into the sunset, Joe. He's been in public service for goddamn five decades, six decades. I'm gay. Go enjoy the sand. <laughs> and, be, and be your gay self. What were you saying, A.B.? I apologize. Live your true self. Oh, no, yeah. I was just saying he's wearing a MAGA hat on the beach. He wore it again later? No, 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 no. Oh, you guys said he's beach, retiring right on, the on the beach. I said in a MAGA yeah, hat. Yeah. <laughs> he's, I'm coming out as a uh, MAGA. <laughs> Presidential hat. Presidential seal on it. You want an autograph it? Oh, sure, I'll autograph it. Huh? Yeah. Do you remember yeah. your name? I don't remember my name. I'm slow. Sure, of course. I'm sure of old part. <laughs> Yeah, I know, man. I'm an old guy. <laughs> and you're an old person. Uh, I know you wouldn't know about that. What? I'm being old. Oh, I know. All right. I'm a young timer. God, he moves slow, <laughs> man. <laughs> he's very slothish. I was going to put him in. Uh, put I mean, he's a good sport. He's a great sport. Uh, and, and I love that for him. But he is moving slow. <laughs> He reminds me of the guys I grew up with. There was always one in the neighborhood. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm the only one. There you go, man. I, got, I, need, I need that hat. <laughs> you want my autograph? Hell no. <laughs> Why is he moving like so fucking it. slow? He's moving in slow motion. I've never seen an old person move that way. It's so funny. But oh, like, he's I'm talking. Lying, dude. He's talking. I mean, he's on his shit. Not really exactly is. like a worthy adversary and uh, on, Jilly, Billy Bob to hear. But. <laughs> Billy Bob. Billy Bob is almost harder to understand than him. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there he goes. Come on, Billy Bob. You got to admit, that's a class act. Look, he's happy. Look how happy he is. Handshakes. That's what America is. God damn it. Let's get those handshakes out, Billy Bob. <laughs> Let's get you a. Uh... Hurts nobody. Exactly. Hurts nobody. Good. Very oh, good. Very good. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, Trump gets upset when Kamala talks during him talking. Um, okay. They were loving this, which was like, okay, whatever. It's just kind of a non moment. Here it is. She was big on defund the police. In Minnesota, she went out. Wait a minute. I'm talking now. By the way, she was not really interrupting. She was kind of just. Yeah, he's being a little just, bit of a diva. She think, was. A, she she had, had this line like ready. He was trying to use it as an opportunity, I bet. You think so? You don't mind, please. Does that sound familiar? Because <laughs> so, so, so. of that. What sounds she familiar? Did, she said that to, I forget who it was. Pence. She said it to Pence during, oh, the, Pence, VP during the VP debate. Oh, God. He's yeah. been holding on to that? That's not, oh, that's that's like not a, cute. That's why I'm saying it's contrived. And but it's not cute that he's like, me. he's like so, <laughs> you he's so me. wounded by what happened. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, people Many, like, many years ago. His supporters like how petty he is. It's a positive. Thing but again, people, it wasn't you know? that rude. He was just like, can you please... Yeah, I didn't let me that, talk. Right. You know, it's just not that. She bad. went out. She went out in Minnesota and wanted to let criminals that killed Crim people Bills. that burned down Minneapolis. There it is, guys. Huge moment for Trump. Huge moment. And I don't care. Um, Trump gets upset when Kamala talks during. Oh, wait. What? That's when we just watched, A.B. Yeah. Oh, I sent that a while ago. Oh, oh yeah, we need a candidate who isn't confused by facts. This one was very good. I have to say, Kamala, Cam Cam, Kamala, Donald Trump. I have talked with military leaders, some of whom worked with you, and they say yeah. you're a disgrace. <laughs> and when you then talk in this way in a presidential <laughs> debate and deny what over and over again are court cases you have lost because you did, in fact, lose that election. It leads one to believe that perhaps <laughs> we do not have in up. the candidate to my right the temperament or, or the ability to not be confused about fact. Mm -hmm. That's deeply troubling, and the American people deserve better. I'll give you one minute to respond. He's very, he's very confused. <laughs> Actually, they got him good because 
Trump was under fire from his Groiper fans when he said he lost by a whisker. He admit that uh, in an interview. I forget to who, but he said by a whisker. It was to Lex. Oh, Lex. Lex mm. got him. He says, I, I, uh, I lost by a whisker. They're like, wait, you lost? What the fuck? And so now the moderator was like, so um, do you still think you left? You lost by a whisker or did you win the election? And he's like, no, I won that shit. That was said sarcastically. <laughs> and uh, so, I mean, no matter how he, irony. no matter how he answers that, he's kind of fucked. Um, we fact checking him at moments. Let's see here. Here's all the ones that I guess triggered. Ben Shapiro was mauling and crying and pissing and shitting. He's such a baby. He was cracking me up the most. Like, mm -hmm. uh, oh, so amazing. And I give tremendous credit to those six justices. There is no state in this country where it is legal to kill a baby after it's born. You did bring up something. You said she went to negotiate with Vladimir. Putin. Yeah. How, how dare you fact check something that's so blatantly such a blatant hot lie yeah no doctors are killing babies well actually that's not true uh moving on three verse one the fuck <laughs> more like four verse one because trump's against himself too wow got him thank you Putin. Vice President Harris, have you ever met Vladimir Putin? Can you clarify tonight? Yet again, I said it at the beginning of this debate, you're going to hear a bunch of lies coming from this fellow. And that is another one. Why they're allowing them to come into our country. I did watch all of these pieces of video. I, I, I didn't detect the sarcasm. Lost by a whisker. We didn't quite make it. And we should just point... He's not wrong. He was not fucking... No, it doesn't even make sense. It's not sarcasm. That's I not lost sarcasm by a whisker. <laughs> No, I won, but I won, actually. I won. And out here is clarification, and you know this. Uh, you and your allies, 60 cases in front of many judges, many of them no Republican. No judge looked at it. And said they said no we didn't have standing. Uh, crime in this country is through true. the roof, and we have a new form of crime. It's called migrant crime, and it's happening at levels that nobody <laughs> thought possible. President Trump, as you know, the FBI says overall <laughs> violent crime is actually crime. coming down in this country. But Vice Excuse President me, the FBI innovating. Innovating. They were defrauding the statements. So and that's that, that's everything. I mean, guys, you are pissing and shitting from that. I mean, and in a like two hour debate, that's fifty seconds. My goodness. They're eating the dogs. You know. <laughs> Trump asked about his health care plan. Guys, this is this is big. Trump I've been waiting. You know <laughs> Trump's been talking about repealing Obamacare since the first time he ran for office, and golly, that was eight, uh, ten years ago by now. And um, he's had a long time to figure out what would replace Obamacare. And he's finally ready to unveil these plans to you now. President Trump, this is times. now your yes. third time running for president. You have long vowed to repeal and replace the Affordable Care Act, also known as Obamacare. You have failed to accomplish that. You now say you're going to keep Obamacare, quote, unless we can do something much better. Right. Last <laughs> month, you said, quote, we're working on it. So tonight, nine years after you first started running, do you have a plan? And can you tell us what it is? Obamacare was lousy health care. Always was. It's not very good today. And what I said, that if we come up with something, and we are working on things, we're going to do it, and we're going to replace it. Uh -huh. But remember this. I inherited <laughs> Obamacare because Democrats wouldn't change it. They wouldn't vote for it. They were unanimous. They wouldn't vote to change it. If they would have done that, we would have had a much better plan than Obamacare. But the Democrats came up. They wouldn't vote for it. I had a choice to make when I was president. Do I save it and make it as good as it can be? Never going to be great. Or do I let it rot? And I felt I had an obligation, even though politically it would have been good to just let it rot and let it go away. I decided and I told my people, the top people, and they're very good people. I have a lot of good people in this that administration. People. We read about the bad ones. We had some real bad ones, too. And so do they. They have really bad ones. The difference is they don't get rid of them. But let Bro, me just. What, what the fuck are you on about? <laughs> <laughs> well, just to rewind it a little bit, the beginning of all that, so he's talking about he wanted to fix Obamacare. So I, I, I don't remember all the details, but it, that effectively was a repeal of most of Obamacare. And he's saying the Democrats voted against it, which they famously, uh, you know, of course did. But this was the famous, John McCain is the vote that decided that vote. Yeah. And he was the one that, that saved it. And so it actually was his own party 
stabbing him in the back, so to speak, that killed his plans for uh, replacing Obamacare, which again was basically just a repeal of most of Obamacare. So there's he's there's this great line here. He 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 comes out with the plan though finally. Just explain. I had a choice to make. Do I save it and make it as good as it can be, or do I let it rot? And I saved it. I did the right thing. But it's still never going to be great, and it's too expensive for people. And what we will do is we're looking at different plans. If we can come up with a plan that's going to cost our people, our population, less money and be better health care than Obamacare, then I would absolutely do it. But until then, I'd run it as good as it can be run. So just a yes or no, you still do not have a plan. I have concepts of a plan. I'm not president right now. But if... <laughs> Listen, uh, I'm not... You got to pay me, lady. I have I'm not on the job. Of a plan. Jesus Christ. I'm not president right now. I love that. I have concepts of a plan. Um... I think he does the Michael Scott thing where he keeps talking until he comes up with an answer. Yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> yeah, he finds, he plots his way as he goes. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah and Is then... Is government health care the same as Obamacare because I'm on it, Blue Anthem, because of it? Um, I mean, probably, yeah. If you got it through one of the exchanges, then then yeah, that's Obamacare. He, he is talking, he goes, I'm going to introduce a new oh, health care system that is cheaper and better. That's it. <laughs> Great. Let's hear it. They've been yeah. saying this from the beginning. They're, they're completely trapped on this issue because the conception of the Affordable Care Act and like how it functions was it originated as a conservative conception of how to do national health care. Like this is their plan ultimately. Even though Obama's name is on it, like they they don't have a better idea because this is the idea that kind of conforms to conservative principles. <clears throat> and so they have to pretend like they hate it, but that's why it's so difficult for them to come up with some other solution. Well, it's, they haven't. It's they been haven't. fucking because it, it's 12 essentially, years, 16 It's still years. all private health insurance. It's just the government helps facilitate and subsidize people buying private health insurance. It's like it's a market solution. It's what, it's what they came up with in the first place. Is this somewhat uh, what's happening here? <laughs> yeah, this makes me think of Scary Movie 3. I have a dream. What is your dream? To have a dream. <laughs> yeah? My, my plan is that I'll have a plan. Essentially, correct. So there he is. Concepts of a plan. Fantastic. Beautiful. Um, In other words, we'll execute the baby. Hey, come on. No. Don't that do she that. put out? Don't do that. That was said sarcastically. No. Okay, that was comforting. 